Hey everyone, I'm doing a video on Football Coach College Dynasty. It's one of the highest rated sports games on Steam. Uh, it's a great product created by Aki Jones. Really fun. Uh, any college football fan should play it. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in. Alright, so after going to new, you have two options. You can either go to a default universe or a custom universe. Uh, I would recommend going custom because you know you can get all the teams or a high school universe or anything you can think of. Uh, I would definitely recommend going to the Discord, which the link is at the front page. Uh, you, even if you have questions on the game or you're kind of confused on what to do next, you can go there and get your answers. All right, so we're going to go with the Custom Universe. Uh, the universe I'm using is the Jeff Mod Universe. It uh, has all the teams, uh, the accurate ratings of most schools. Uh, just a really good place to start off. All right, so you have four difficulty options. Uh, easy is for it's pretty good for when you're just starting off, but as it says, it is really easy. Uh, normal mode is a lot harder. It gives you a good uh, test of your abilities, but it is still kind of easy. Uh, hard mode is kind of where I would recommend most players play, especially after you learn the mechanics of the game. All right, so playoff options. Currently, there's nine different options. One option, of course, is no playoffs, just top two teams. Uh, the largest is 16 playoffs. Uh, usually the option I choose, but any of these are great. All right, draft eligibility. You have three choices. I usually stay with three years. NIL, really great part of the game. Uh, I mean, you know how big it is in college football right now. I would recommend keeping it tied to school prestige because it's kind of balanced. The game is balanced for that. But, of course, it's personal preference for you. Uh, injuries. Some people like dealing with injuries. Some people tur turn them completely off. Uh, let's just go medium for now. Uh, transferring. Uh, really fun part of the game. Uh, you know how all athletes go to the portal now. They do the same thing in this game. If they're not getting playing time, if they're on a losing team and they want to win, if they want to be the star player and they're not getting the ball enough, they will transfer out. Uh, of course, there's options to keep those players but uh, it adds a good dynamic to the game. Realignment, uh, you can set the options for 5, 10, 15, or 20. Uh, but however, in a recent update, you can actually have realignment every season. Uh, I mean, you can definitely say no, but it does give you the option. Okay, on school dynasty mode, uh, you will start off with the school of your choice, and you'll stay that school the entire duration of the uh, dynasty. Um, Coach career mode is fun. Uh, you can start off whatever school you want, but then you can take jobs in the off season. Uh, it's really up to you or your preference on which one you choose. Well, so let's go coach career mode. So we got different options, different names. Uh, if you want to change how the person looks without actually modifying it yourself, you can go back and forth. If you want to modify appearance, you would go to this selection over here. Very easy to do. So let's stay with Mitchell Houston. <coughs> he's a defensive CEO, so it means he knows a little bit about defense, but he's also good at training and recruiting. You have many different options. Uh, you know, pure CEO, they're best at training and recruiting, not really good with the X's and O's, but, or you can select an offensive genius that's really good at offense for starting off. It's a five, not great, but it is better than nothing. But there are other skills that are kind of lacking. Uh, so let's go... Hmm. Let's go pure CEO. So they're not going to know too much about the X's and O's, but they will have a little bit of advantage training and recruiting. Uh, this is out of 10 though, so you have a lot of room to grow. So offensive scheme, right now you have three options, balance, spread, or pro style. I like spread, but balance and pro style have their options or good too. All right, defense, we'll go 4-3. You have choices, though. 4-4 four, four split, 4-3, four, 3-4 three, three, four nickel, your choice. Uh, play style, you know, you have balanced, pass first, run first, and then the variations of going one way or another. So let's go pass first. Uh, play style, we'll go balanced man. You have different options that uh, help different defenses. But let's go balanced man. All right, so now we get to hire our coordinators. Uh, you get a selection of five. Does anyone have spread and pass first? We have two. Oh, very good offense coordinator to start off with, so that's going to really help us. Uh, they're excellent in offense and uh, great in training. Their recruiting's not great. Their defense is not great, but we have no care about what an offensive coordinator's defensive rating is. 
<clears throat> so we're going to go with uh, Yahir Sumner, which I'm probably butchered the name, but here we go. All right. Uh, well, that worked out great. This is probably the best coordinator you can get starting off. Uh, yeah, it definitely is. So we have, we're starting off with two really good coordinators. All right, let's choose a school. Uh, since this is Jeff Mod, all the real team names are in the game. Uh, if you use the cus or, or the original universe, they will not be all in the game. So let's just pick a random school. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Mm. We'll, we'll pick someone who's not that great who could build up. A lot of good choices, a lot of good choices. Uh, let's just go... Let's go Colorado. We'll go to Denver, or Boulder. <laughs> Alright, get the name of your file. I'll just say... Colorado. So like I was saying earlier, a lot of different options in this game. At first, it can be kind of, uh, you know, daunting to kind of figure out what to do next. But the UI is very clean. It lets you know what you need to do. It keeps you balanced so you don't get too overworked in one situation. And since we have so many teams, it has to create a lot of players. It's going to take a while. So, all right, here we go. Uh, we start off with position changes. You can do that, of course, especially if you're good, really good in one position and maybe not another. Like sometimes running backs and receivers can be changed. Um, they don't always change decently. You can always check to see what they change to. Not a really good tailback, so we're not going to change him. Probably don't want to get rid of our starting receiver. He would become the starting running back, but he would actually be second string, so not that great. We're pretty weak at tight end. But that's okay. Offensive line looks pretty good. Uh, we have any seniors that could maybe look at some other kind of position. Probably can't, but at least we'll check. No, tight end at 56, not really that good. So we're going to go ahead and just save in advance. Sometimes you can find a uh, diamond in a rough with a switch, but you'll probably spend a whole lot of time and get no results. So I, I wouldn't recommend spending too much time with position changes. So now we'll go to off-season gains. We'll see uh, what kind of ratings they bumped up to. Since we're at a school with a low facility ranking and our coaches are not the best at training at this time, our ratings uh, boost is probably not as high as some other places. Uh, for example, our best gain was a 6, which that guy's not going to play anyway. Uh, some of these other guys might get some playing time, but as our school develops and our coaches develop, we will be able to get a higher higher boost for sure. So we'll go ahead and move on. Okay, this is a really important part of your uh, coaching career. Uh, you wanna make sure your effective play calling level is high as it can be. Uh, the highest you can possibly have is 13, so 12 is extremely good to start off with. If uh, he was a 10-rated coordinator, we would have 13, so this is really great. You want to try to make sure your head coach and your offensive coordinator match up on preferred schemes. You get bonus points for that. Okay, you also get options of auto run for your quarterback, often, sometimes, rare, never. Usually leave it to auto, let the... Uh, AI and the sim engine determine it. Scrambling, the same thing. Uh, also, if you want to kind of have a little bit of an idea for going for two, for two point conversions, you can always say it to uh, always go for two, go for two slightly more, or just go with it, what the sim engine says. Same way for onside kicks or fourth down strategy. All right, next you're going to go to defense. We're rated 13 right there. That is absolute best you can get. Uh, Usually you do not get that on a first year uh, dynasty, so we got very lucky on that. And then the roster, you can just check where you're you're highly rated and what you're not at, what you're not as good. Uh, but this is a really good team to start off with. Uh, better than I thought they would, so that's not bad. All right, the off season, uh, very important. You finally get your first look at recruiting here. 
Uh, if you see all of this, it might look overwhelming at first, but after spending a few minutes with it, it gets really easy. So there's a lot of great filters so you can figure out what you want. The game tells you what positions are, are of need. As you can tell at Colorado, they need five linemen. So we're focused on linemen to get some decent linemen. So if we want to, we can clear all positions, go to linemen. So now it's only going to show 546 players. If we had every position, we have 2,640 players to look at. So let's go ahead and start filtering it down. So let's look at all linemen and let's go to the map and we can kind of choose where we want to look. So let's try to stay local. Let's do a cluster around Colorado. Maybe we'll drop. No, that's probably good. We'll take some of these states that don't have really good colleges or any colleges to recruit from. So maybe we can take some of them. So now we've jumped down to 54 recruits. So now we got much easier time of looking at who we want. Uh, then we can rank them by interest score. And that's how interested are they in your school. So this is only a two star, but we're just going to look at them. So it shows Colorado State's the, the winner. It shows five different schools. It also shows us though, if we contact him, we will jump in front of Colorado State and everyone else. So you can check out uh, scouting to see if he's worth looking at. B plus, I'm thinking I'm gonna put him on there. And a great part of this game is that a two star player can actually outperform a four star or five star or three star player just depending on how development goes for that player. So just because you see a two-star player, do not just ignore it. They could actually help you in the long run. <clears throat> so then we'll look at a couple more, try to see if we find anyone we really want. I'll take a B. Be sure to check out uh, the initial interest. If that score is higher than yours, it will be harder to get them. So 75 to 72 is definitely, we can definitely overtake BYU and Utah, but it is harder. So let's just find out if he's any good. 63 and C minus, he is loyal, so he'll have a hard time uh, transferring out, but let's keep looking. We have an advantage for sure on this guy. Wants to win. 60 C plus. We have a huge advantage over these schools. We'll still go for him. All right, no one's interested in this guy yet. So if we if he's any good, we can definitely pick him up. He's not though, so we're not gonna we're not gonna pick him up. All right, so let's say you're doing all that, <clears throat> you're getting overwhelmed, and you, you don't want to do this, or you want to take your time. You can go to the section of my targets and you're able to turn on auto recruiting. This will allow the AI to help you recruit and then you can check out on who they're choosing. So we'll go to, let's go overall rating right now. So this is who the AI thinks we should try to pick up. Sometimes they're good choices, sometimes they're not. Uh, as their scouting percentages unlock, you can find out if you wanna keep them on your list or not. The AI does a good job of recruiting, but also a human player can find, you know, a little bit better. But it's definitely good to allow the AI to help you. All right, this is where you train your players in the off season. You can let the AI take care of it by selecting auto assign trainings. I would recommend doing it yourself. So you can like, you know, help your quarterback, it gives you the percentages and the possible gains that player can get. So let's go ahead and try to bump up his accuracy. We have a chance of getting four, two, it's a breakthrough 97%, so that's telling us we have a higher chance of getting not the minimum. So we tried it, we got three. Uh, let's go ahead and check out our receivers. We have an 86, we can work on him. He's a junior, could come back for another year. We'll try to improve his route running. And then of course you can go through doing this over and over again for all your players, looking at the ones you wanna help. Or like I said, you can let the AI take care of it. Okay, that's all you gotta do for week one. You can practice if you wanted to. 
Um, but it's, it's totally optional and it doesn't really help you like in the actual game. But if you want to call plays, it shows you maybe what's what can work and what cannot. So on this play, uh, our quarterback can handle it decent. Seven touchdowns versus two interceptions. Sometimes that means, though, your defense isn't very good and your offense is. So don't, just because in practice it works doesn't mean it's going to work in the game. But it does have a good chance. So go click Save and Advance to go to the next week, which will be the same thing as the previous week. We're going to do that. Well, I guess not week. It's in section. So you have two spring and two summer before you get to the preseason. All right, auto assign to trainings. And like I said earlier, the AI is taking care of recruiting right now, so we're not even going to look at that. Okay, now we made it to summer one. It'd be probably a good idea to look at recruiting. Uh, some of the scouting percentages are starting to show. They're going on camp visits. They're getting scouted. <clears throat> you can kind of sort by potential if you want to. Uh, it's going to show you everyone that you're recruiting that has an A, which is great. Uh, but if you want to, you probably want to search and find people who are not as highly rated, like D minus, which... Just because they have low potential now doesn't mean they can't develop and become better later on, but mathematically, they're probably not. So I'm going to go ahead and remove a couple of these guys. So we're going to lose a couple of our targets. Let's say anyone, let's say D and lower. D plus we'll hold on to for now, especially since we're just starting off. Uh, as you develop your school, of course, then you can just stick to A's and B's, but right now, we're still trying to develop. So we lost a few targets, so 35. So let's go find a couple more. Let's see, everyone loves quarterbacks, so let's try to find a quarterback. Okay, so. Okay, we have a huge advantage on uh, interest right here. So we need to find out if Muhammad Richardson is a good quarterback. B minus, 62, it's gonna take him a while to develop, but I think that's worth it, especially if we can get him without much uh, resistance from the other schools. Bennett Webb, even though we have a 68, we can see that Rice has 89, Baylor has 78. We are probably not gonna get that guy unless we spent a whole lot of our NIL money, which is probably not gonna work out. Uh, Mark Blevins, he's a 58, so very low uh, rated, but we are ahead of the other schools, so let's find out if he's worth it. Uh, B minus, 57, one star, let's just keep going. Oh, I should be showing you a couple other things. You can filter this out so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, if you don't want to even look at one stars, you can take them off. And knowing we're not going to get any five stars, probably our first year at a mid-tier to lower school, we can go ahead and take five stars off. So now our quarterback list is getting a little bit smaller. Okay, we're behind on him. Behind, Nebraska would definitely get him over us. No, got a kind of a chance. A couple of teams are higher rated. Well, let's keep moving on. Oh, this one's close. Uh, he's rated 66, three-star. Currently the 58th best quarterback in his class. C- minus and loyal. So he won't transfer out, so it might be a great backup. So even if he's not playing, uh, Riley Bolden's probably not going to transfer out. So we're going to go ahead and target him. Let's see, we're ahead of everyone but Temple. Let's find out. Oh, A-, minus. definitely going to try to bring him in. Now he's from Pennsylvania, so we're not going to have any... You can tell by the different ratings. Uh, we are definitely not close to him. Luckily for Sergio, he does not care about being close to home. He cares about stadium atmosphere, which we're not that great. He cares about college life, where we have an advantage. 
and uh, he cares about money. <laughs> so we might have to pay him to get him to come. So we'll see. Okay, we had a few targets. Uh, we'll let the AI take care of the rest. They'll probably put some of the guys they've already tried to add back onto the uh, target list. So you just have to keep an eye on that. So we'll go ahead and go to auto training, let the AI take care of that. If I was playing for enjoyment, I'd probably take care of all this myself, but I don't want this video to be an hour long and we barely get anything done. So like I said, last part of the training, summer two, go ahead and let the AI take care of it. Now we're going to preseason expectations. So depending on your uh, athletic director, you can have a lot of different options. Uh, I have a laid back athletic director, so if, if I don't meet the six games, he's not gonna be as upset. Uh, there's Hothead, there's Optimus, uh, various options for an athletic director. Laid back is pretty good. Uh, this shows us who our uh, boosters are. We have two diamonds, which is the best you can have, two gold, which is the next tier, and then silver. Uh, the only tier that we do not have is bronze, but they usually pay the lowest. So as you can see, we have different options. Uh, three of them want us to win our uh, rival game, so that's really big. And then we have two over here. One wants us to hold opponents less than 27 points per game. The other one wants us to have an all-conference receiver. So let's see if we can uh, make some money. All right, starting off number 22 in the country. Wow. Got really lucky with our roster and our coaches. So right now it shows recruiting is done for the checklist. It's because we have it set to auto recruiting. This week checklist keeps everything focused so you don't get lost trying to remember what to do next. So setting our practice focus for the week. This is very important. Uh, uh, Massachusetts or UMass is uh, balance balance so we can either stop passing or running. Uh, this kind of really depends. We'll stop downfield passing though. Defensively, they want their 4 3 in balance, kind of like us. So, uh, well, I totally mixed up when I was telling you that. Uh, downfield passing for our offense versus their defense, and this defensive focus versus their offense. Sorry about that. Okay, just a depth chart. Uh, the AI usually takes care of this, but if you always want to click this just to make sure you bring any of your injured players back who have healed up back to starting. All right, adjust the game plan if we wanted to, if we wanted to fix some things, if we want to ch change something up. Uh, we're gonna call plays for the first game though, or some for the first game, so it's not a big deal. So here we go, we have a huge advantage in talent. Uh, we probably have a huge advantage in coaching. Actually, they have a really good offensive coordinator. Uh, so that would be a good matchup. Their defensive coordinator is slacking though, so we should have an advantage uh, on offense. <clears throat> you can see the players to watch. These are the best, or some of the best rated players on the team. Uh, as you can see, we have an advantage. So we're, we're valued or uh, favored to win by 15 and a half points. So let's see what we can do. All right, first pass. First pass is incomplete. So let's try to get something going here. You can let the act the AI select a play for you. You can take a suggestion, or if you want to select your own play, just go to change play, and you have lots of options to choose from to find something that will work. So we're gonna go short, short pass, try to find something that gets uh, some of our receivers in space and see if we can get something going here. First down, there we go. First and goal, I like it. There we go, touchdown, nice, nice. <clears throat> so on defense, uh, you know, 
you do not get to see what the offense is going to be or what formation they're in, but the AI will try to take care of it. Oh, actually, there it is. They do show that. I'm sorry. So single back trips, three receivers, uh, one running back, one tight end. So we definitely want to go to probably nickel. Two-man contain. Let's see what happens. Oh, stop for one-yard run. So as you can see, there's a lot of different options here for plays. If we want to go ahead and sim to the next possession, we can. To the second quarter, halftime, as you can see, a lot of different options. So go ahead and go to halftime. <clears throat> We're up 38 uh, nothing. Huge advantage in talent and coaching. So let's go ahead and just finish this one out. We ended up winning 51 nothing. Uh, great first game. Our quarterbacks did great. Running backs did well. We stopped the opposition very well. Receivers, we balanced it out for sure. But as you can see, all kind of kicking stats you can see. Okay, so that's that's done for week one. Now, of course, sometimes the sim can take a while, uh, but that's okay. In this universe, there's 134 teams. There's over 9,000 players it has to account for. So sometimes going from week to week can take a while. <clears throat> so a lot of updates after the win. No one got hurt, so that's great. Recruiting updates, of course, week one. No one's going to go ahead and commit now. Uh, player record updates and then team record updates will start showing up after each sim. After week one, all of them are getting hit, but as the weeks progress, fewer and fewer are being set every week. So this kind of shows you very good first game for us. All right, Oregon State. So now we're in a conference game. Let's see what they got. We're a better rated team, of course. They're 0-1. Uh, looks like passing might work versus these guys, or hmm, or we could try running the ball. Let's go pass. They have 275 yards in their first game passing, so let's try to stop the pass for them. No one's hurt, so we don't have to deal with that. All right. We'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and sim to halftime. Let's to see uh, how it's going. 13-3, much closer game than our week one game, but we are ahead to the fourth quarter. We're up. Uh, as you can see, we've been passing the ball a lot. Uh, the AI is expecting us to pass, so run plays would actually start working pretty well if you know we catch the, the AI off guard. Uh, let's go ahead and start chewing the clock, try to start killing some time, try to prevent any chance of them coming back. Okay, gonna have some for a field goal. Uh, made it. There we go. All right, let's go to the last five minutes. Uh, we're up 24. Feeling very confident. We just go to end game. Uh, 33 to six. Great game for Colorado. Belcher had another good game. Uh, running the ball was not that great. Uh, we got a couple of touchdowns, but only 3.7 yards of carry. But our passing was so efficient. That's not a big deal. And I know if you guys are still watching, this can get kind of boring because, you know, there's not much action on the field, but it is fun when it's, you're calling the plays or you're creating the team. So we're going to go ahead and skip to the re uh, to the end of the regular season. First, we're going to make sure we have our practice focuses set. Do not forget to set this, especially if you like simming ahead. Pick your most preferred offensive focus and your most preferred defensive focus. The AI will use this and give you bonuses for it. Okay, season's uh, simmed. We're at 10-2 with a 
ranked 15, which is pretty good. Um, no updates are, of course, done over that last season or last game. So uh, we have a chance to win the conference championship. That's great. Uh, this video is already way too long. So, I mean, of course, we want to win, but I'm not going to call every play. So they're a run-first team. We'll try to stop the rushing attack. I mean, sorry, we're in offense. They're really good at stopping the pass. Uh, they are good at stopping the run, too, though. So we're going to stick to what we do well. But we are going to try to stop their running game. Okay, uh, they have better talent than us. Uh, they're favored to win. Coaching's very similar. Uh, their offensive coordinator is great. Defensive co coordinator is not as good, so maybe that'll give us a chance. Okay, we can go to halftime. Uh, we're only down six, so we're staying close to the fourth quarter. Uh, now we're down ten, but we'll see if we can try to make a comeback. Oh, now we're down twenty. The game's pretty much over. So Washington was a better team. Uh, we could have made it closer if we called plays, maybe, or, you know, it's just hard to win every game, so not a big deal. That drops us out of the playoff contention, but we are going to the Fiesta Bowl, so that's great, especially for our first year. Okay, so our quarterback was second-team All-American, pretty decent. Uh, one of our offensive linemen was also second-team All-American. Uh, we have a ton of Pac-10 awards, so our team definitely had a good season. Okay, so nothing for us for uh, week one. If you want to check out the postseason, you can see the playoffs. Uh, nice little matchups here. Florida State's undefeated so far. A lot of great teams. Uh, just want to go ahead and show you different things you can look at. Uh, a lot of stats are tracked. Team stats are tracked. You can find out who's the best at uh, yards, Alabama. No, not shocking. We were actually third, so that was really good. Uh, of course, that's for offense. If you want to go to opponent for defense, Texas A&M had the best defense. Washington, who we just faced in the conference championship, was second. Uh, just a lot of different stats you can look at. Player stats, if you want to look up different player stats, that's a, an option for you to do. If you want to see who was the best, had led the league in, or led the nation in touchdowns, quarterback from Tennessee was able to do it. Just a lot of different stats you can keep up with. And then history, especially after your uh, dynasty's been going for a while, you can check back, which we have nothing now since this is year one. Uh, recruit, recruiting classes, we don't have any yet. This is a place you would look for that. Team records, it shows you who's, you know, the best teams in your dynasty. This is only year one so far, so of course, not really big sample size. Uh, coach career leaderboard, that's for the actual coaches. Um so that's a fun thing to try to see if you can, you know, get to the top of that or near the top. Matchup history, you can check out the teams you've played, uh, and it'll show you some stats from the, that series. Okay, let's go to the Fiesta Bowl. Try to end the season on a good note. Also, we'll check to see how the uh, playoffs in week one went, see if we had any major upsets. So Florida State stays undefeated, USC wins, Alabama wins, Notre Dame wins. Looks like, oh, we got one upset, Georgia beats Georgia Tech, who were 11-1, but they've been put out. 
All right, we'll set our focus. Uh, got to stop the, stop the run. We're still going to pass the ball. We have a better team than them, so we have a chance of winning. Let's just go ahead and simulate without even going to the game and see what happens here. Wow, like an excellent game. Two overtimes, we were able to bring home the victory. Uh, so we finished the year on a positive note. We can check the playoffs if we want to. Florida State getting upset by USC. Uh, so their season's over. Georgia upset Washington in two overtimes. So the Bulldogs with back-to-back -back upsets. So the final four, Alabama, USC versus or, and then Ohio State versus Georgia. Georgia wins again. Wow. They beat the number six team, the number three team, and the number two team to make it to the championship. USC edges out Alabama. If we wanted to find out what happened in that game, uh, we can go to impact plays, look at stats, find out what happened in the last few seconds. Uh, looks like USC scores a touchdown with 58 seconds left to win, uh, take the lead. Uh, Alabama had a chance to win in the final seconds, a 59-yard field goal, but it fell short, and uh, USC moves on. Oh, USC's won the national championship. Uh, Georgia cannot keep beating everyone. You can, of course, click on uh, down here in league info, postseason games, kind of find out what happened. Very close game, 30-25. to 25. Let's find out if it was to the last second, like the last few games. No, it looks like Georgia scored a garbage touchdown at the very end to make it seem like it was closer than it was. Uh I mean, it was a close game. I mean, Georgia did have a 13-9 lead in the at halftime, but USC was able to take advantage, ended up winning the game. Hey, look at that. Rainy. Jose must be my brother. Nice. Okay, now we're going to the year summary. Uh, it's going to let us, or the coaches update. It's going to let us know how our season went with our XP, but also give us ability to add ratings to our coach. So we're trying to build him up as a recruiter and a trainer. So we're going to go ahead and bounce those up by two each. We get to choose badges that help us recruit. Uh, some of these are really helpful. Some maybe not as much. I really like development ones um, as that makes your players better. So we'll go ahead and add tight end developer, even though, that might not be seen as a prime position. I still like it. And we'll work on improving linebackers. Nice. All right, offensive coordinator. Uh, he had a good year. We can move him up to 10 now. The offense is ranked as the number 17th talent in the country, but he produced at number three, so he got a lot of bonus points for that. No badges, though, for this time, for this year. Defense, uh, he also had a good year. There's a good chance we lose both to the coach's carousel, which you're about to see. Hopefully not, though. Okay, the ADs, of course, really happy with how our season went. Uh, Utah State is trying to recruit us, wants us to leave. We would get a huge uh, integrity penalty if we left after year one. Uh, we're definitely going to stay with Colorado, though. Okay, offensive coordinator stayed. That's huge. Definitely keeping him. Defensive coordinator stayed as well. Uh, if we wanted to, we could check out different people we could pick up. I mean, there's, I'm sure there's some great coaches available. As you can see, there's dozens upon dozens. But I'm definitely happy with the one we have, so we're going to keep him. 
Okay, if you want to check out some coach changes that happened during the uh, off season, you can find out Nebraska got a new coach. They got Air Force's coach. Minnesota got the defense coordinator from Penn State. Uh, some other lateral moves, people are retiring, things of that nature. If you want to check out retirements, you can see who retired. Minnesota, Nebraska, Boise State. So it shows you who retired as well. All right, next screen is going for players that are leaving. Uh, these guys are the ones going to the draft or graduating. Uh, so we're going to lose one of our offensive linemen. We can see how much that's going to take him. He either wants to make all-conference team or be paid $1.34 million. I believe he'll make the all-conference team. As it shows, make a promise to keep the player. If broken, this will cost you 10 coach integrity. I really feel like he will, so I don't think this is a bad promise to make. And this showing the different guys we're going to lose who are graduating. So. And we wanted to see who we had left coming back. This is showing the team that we would have coming back for next year. All right, the next screen is going to be player transferring. These are guys who are upset with either playing time or not getting the ball, things of that nature. Uh, Timothy Trong, maybe that could be his name. Uh, he wants playing time. He was the backup last year. If we lose him, we would definitely need to go transfer portal for transfer portal for a quarterback. Um, an 80 rated quarterback. Oh, that's tough. What does he want to stay? Play 75% of the snaps. Or paying five point one million, which we're definitely not paying him that much. Uh, we really don't need this receiver; he can leave. The kicker would be starting. Could we possibly find someone better at the transfer portal? Possibly. Offensive lineman B plus, and he would be fourth on the depth chart, which means fourth best lineman, which means he's starting. So let's hold on to him for sure. Play sixty percent of the snaps, no problem. Very tough call here. I am going to go ahead and let him transfer out. Hopefully we can find a better quarterback during transfer season. We'll find out. If not, whew, we're going to have trouble because we have a 69-rated quarterback and a 67-rated quarterback. All right, next stage is pro draft. This is showing you where people got selected. Uh, it's sometimes fun to look at. It doesn't really help you, though. But then you can also go ahead and get a preview of who's going to be available in Transfer Portal. For example, let's see if we've got any good quarterbacks. Ouch. There's only one quarterback that was better than the one we let out. So very risky by us for letting him go. Uh, there's some young quarterbacks, though, that could fit in a little bit better. So Hall of Fame, Penn State's quarterback, and Georgia Tech's defensive lineman. About the same, except Duke's running back also made the ring of honor for his team. This shows you all the updates and all the records that were set. Our quarterback set the all-time college record. We've only had one season, though, so it could definitely fall next season. All right, so off-season recruiting right here. Uh, we have 19 commitments so far, so the AI did that. I usually turn off auto recruiting in the off season because uh, it's a lot less to deal with. We're really just dealing with transfers right now. So a lot of different options you can go to. Okay, so now there's 106 players transferring. Of course we need him. So let's see who he's interested in, if we have a chance. We do. Uh, top school is only 80, UCF. So let's definitely target him because we need him. And then let's just go by and look at some other players. Uh, we have a hard time getting him, so we'll move on. Nope, not a chance, not a chance, not a chance. Let's go ahead and sort by interest score. So that'll be a little bit easier, maybe. And so let's go ahead and make some more filter changes. Let's say B or better. So now we've dropped it to 62 recruits. And if we wanted to keep this for later on to use, we can go to save filters. We can save this filter, we'll just call it uh, transfer. 
So uh, next transfer season, or later on this season if we wanted to, we could look at this filter and it'll take us to right to it so we don't have to manually change anything. Oh, that'd be big. 87 rated receiver. We're better than the other people that are interested in him, so that's huge. No, 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 no. Oh, I already it's quarterback. No, that's close enough. We can try him for him. So, you know, you would work that out. You would do all this. Video is getting super long already, so we're going to go ahead and move on. We can turn on, go back to my targets. Uh, we can go to recruiting actions that I haven't really been showing you. Uh, different options you have. If you want to clear all those and make your own decisions, custom order so the AI will know who to give the scholarship to first. Definitely these guys up top because that's who we need. And your uh, pitches are different between head coaches and offensive coordinators. Uh, give different point values to recruit. So right now we're ahead uh, in the quarterback we really want. He cares about money though, so we probably want to go ahead and start giving him a little bit right now to help with some points. We don't have unlimited money, so we'll just start with 1.5 for now. We're ahead there. Nice. All right, last week of recruiting for transfers. So let's go ahead and make sure we have the AI off. So it's back to our custom filter. Which the AI changes, so make sure you fix that for yourself. Okay, we're behind in all three, so we definitely have to bring the money this time. Hopefully it'll be enough to get these guys. As we can see, we're only 176 points behind on Goodwin. We really need him though. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend everything we got. Also, if we can get a slightly better pitch, we'll go for that. All right, see what happens. We got him extremely close. We beat out FAU by only 71 points, uh, but now we do have a decent quarterback. Definitely made a mistake probably letting our AD rated quarterback go, but we lucked out. We did leave, lose the 78 rated sophomore uh, to SMU. Texas Tech also jumped over us, but that's okay. We're going to bookmark him and kind of find out how his career went. Uh, let's go ahead and call red for anyone who we lost, either on recruiting battle or transfer battle. And this note just lets remind us why we bookmarked this player in the first place. Okay, so we'll, we can see what our recruiting class looked like. Uh, not the greatest. Uh, but we let the AI take care of this mostly, but still a couple of good players coming in. <coughs> we can check our recruiting rankings. See, you know, Alabama, Ohio State at the top, of course. Uh, let's see where Colorado ended up at. 
pretty low at 72. Uh, of course, this is out of 134, I believe. So not terrible, but not great. But we did get a lot of players with good potential so they can actually develop higher than what their rankings show. All right, school updates. As you can see, school prestige uh, went up because I guess we made the uh, Fiesta Bowl and won it. So that's going to help us out. Uh, make sure you always fill up your NIL money right here. And then this stage is where you build up your, uh, your team. As you can see in the off season, we lose a grade or due to uh, you know, maintenance cost. So you want to fill that back up to get back to where you were, if you choose so. I definitely recommend upgrading facilities first. It helps your players get better. It helps in recruiting. Uh, with all the money we made this off season, we are able to get it to from a five to an eight. That's gonna be a huge boon for our improvement and our recruiting. If we wanted to see how we made the money, this shows you. Uh, we hit every booster goal this year. We got 11.25 million for our conference TV deal. Uh, we made it to the conference championship. We lost it. We still get paid for that. And then we won our bowl game for $7.5 So that helped a lot. So a very good year for our first year. Okay, booster updates. Uh, we didn't lose anybody. We gained a bronze. Uh, like I said earlier, that is the worst owner you can get. They don't pay as much. But we already have two diamonds and two gold, so that is definitely okay. Conference realignment. Uh, the game believes we're waiting until 2028. If we wanted to force realignment to make it happen, uh, we can find out if we want somebody. <clears throat> For example, it shows a lot of different movement right here. Uh, Mississippi State moving out of SEC to Conference USA. Doesn't have to be realistic, but it can be fun to mess around with. Uh, but you usually probably want to wait a few years before you do any realigning. You can also click try new realignment if you don't like that. Preferred conference, let's say we wanted to try to get moved to the Big 12, could it happen? It tells us no realignment found with preferred conference. Uh, even though we did have a good year, we're only a six prestige school, so they're probably not saying we can move up or move down yet. All right, but I don't really want to do any conference realigning, so we'll cancel that and move on. Uh, schedule customization is a fun part. Uh, you can schedule your out-of-conference games. Uh, you can either find some of the toughest teams to play, which could hurt you or help you, or you can pick a couple of easy teams. It's really up to you. Like, play Temple first week, uh, UCLA second week, or week five second off, you know, out-of-conference schedule. And then we can end up playing Middle Tennessee for week nine. So pretty weak schedule overall, but we should get at least two wins, if not three. Okay, that takes you to the end of the season. And so after that, you will start back to where we started this video. Uh, so I just want to kind of show you a quick, well, it really wasn't that quick. But I just want to show you how the game goes, a lot of different things you can do. It's extremely fun. Uh, so hopefully you'll pick it up and, uh, you know, have a great college football experience. All right. Thanks guys.